What's good, YouTube? It's your boy David back with another video. Y'all already knew we're doing on this channel, man. Today I am bringing y'all a fully loaded leg workout. I mean, today's workout is gonna be a long one because I'm putting my quads and my hamstrings together. This is gonna be my only leg day for the week, so we gotta put them together, which means that this workout is definitely gonna be close to about two hours for sure and a saturday so you already know they got a bunch of people up in that gym so hopefully the equipment that i'm trying to do y'all gonna see i'm gonna break down the workout for y'all like i always do but hopefully i can get on every equipment that i have set out that i want to do one after the other and i'll break down why i'm putting um each exercise after another and why, um, the strategy behind it but that's enough talking man let's get into this workout let's go So y'all saw that we started off with 10 minutes of cardio, basically 10 minutes of cardio or whatever your cardio of choice is. Today, I did the Stairmaster, and a lot of times I like the Stairmaster over other equipment. Just I feel like I get a better warm up with that other than um, you know running on the treadmill. But particularly on my leg days, I like to hit um, the Stairmaster just because I feel like it does a great job of activating my glutes, my hamstrings, and my quad, everything that I'm gonna work out that day. Um, so, but again, pick whatever you want to do for cardio for 10 minutes and then warm up and then we're going to lock in. Gucci Mane Slay, cold walking out with him, the promoter paid. Wow. The promoter paid. Yeah. Uh, real n***a, I don't say that a lot. You can tell how I talk and the way that I rock. I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> No sugar coat, no booger sugar, never had a nose full of dough. It's all good, folks. Coke, how you want to coke? Drink what you want to drink. Smoke what you want to Alright, y'all. So, to start off the workout, we're going to start off with calves. If you're a person that has a problem with doing calves, I highly suggest doing them at the beginning of your workout and just get them out the way so you ain't got to worry about doubling back to them because a lot of times, especially on a leg day, if your leg day is super intense, let's be real, you're not coming back to do calves. So do them first. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do some, uh, I guess, calf raises on the leg press machine. As of lately, I've been doing a lot of just uh, seated calf raises as well as like standing calf raises, but I find that these really work that outer head and really get you some like some mass especially because you can load quite a bit of weight sometimes on the leg press again nothing special here we're gonna do this for about eight to ten sets y'all know very high volume when it comes to calves and we're gonna shoot for about 15 reps on each set that was the warm-up set now we got two wheels on there and this is gonna be the first working set so we're gonna do again shoot it for Depends on how it feels, but probably gonna go for 10 sets today. I'm going slow and under control. I'm not over here trying to do this. When you do this, your ankle's getting most of the, um, most of the weight and most of the pressure. You wanna keep all that pressure on your calves. So slow it down. Really allow your, allow your foot to flex and then push up and squeeze. Yeah, I can't lie to y'all. We definitely only doing eight sets today. Cause I ain't gonna lie, these are burning. So yeah, we ain't doing 10. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real. We doing eight. All right, y'all, next up, we're gonna do some lying hamstring curls. So traditionally, a lot of people will start off their leg day with you know leg extensions to really warm up your knees and warm up the quads. Makes a lot of sense. But sometimes for me personally, I like, cause today we're gonna do some box squats after this. So our primary movement today is gonna be uh, box squats and uh, hack squats as well. But um, 
before we get into that, instead of warming up with some leg extensions, we're gonna do that later. I'm gonna start off with some hamstring curls to really warm up that posterior chain. I find that when I do that, I have a better squat day for some reason. So rather than warming up my quads, so my quads are gonna get warmed up as we're doing the squats. But if I'm able to really warm up my posterior chain, I feel like my whole leg is activated and I just have a deeper mind muscle connection and a better pump at the end of the day. So we're gonna start off with these high, laying lying down hamstring curls. It's really gonna activate our hamstrings as well as our glutes. And again, it's a warm up. So I'm going at a slow tempo, maybe holding it for a one to two count at the top. you want to drink smoke what you want to smoke stroke who you want to stroke just as long as she down if she not they run along boy it's too many fish to be pressed about it bitch. i'm stacking too many chips could care less about a fit i'm missing dirty ass kicks watching youtube i'm cutting grass and designer like it's fubu i got a real thick gal wanna sit on my lap no bbl you can tell she just built like that you ever walk into a spot knowing every bitch it pops not a whole lot of n that done felt like that but there I go, 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 me with the inside out tee. All right, y'all, so like I said earlier, we're gonna start off with some box squats. I haven't squatted in quite some time because beginning of the year, it's been crazy for me. I've been off and on sick, so I haven't squatted in like, maybe like two months now, like free weight barbell squat. I've been doing other things like leg presses and, and goblet squats like that, but nothing crazy with getting like under some heavy weight under the barbell, but today, I want to get back into it. I want to get back into my barbell squats. And a good way for me to do that, I often find that when starting back out, I start off with the box just because I feel like it's not necessarily a comfort zone, but it allows me to still load a lot of weight and really uh, focus on my quads for the most part. So when I'm down, you'll see that I really slow down the movement, really trying to come down and slow down the negative, sit down on it, but don't put too much pressure, still have my glutes and my quads engaged, and then press up. That's gonna be really good, um, really important once we load this with, you know, a moderate weight over 315. So, let's get it. There I go, yeah, that's him, pay the arm and the limb for him. Cause they know the hoes jump out the gym for him. Gucci Man and J. Cole, the collaboration. They pulled the band, woke the bell up out of hibernation. Yeah. These boys exaggerate and do a lot of fabrication. Yeah. But ain't no gimmicks in my game, this shit ain't animation. Yeah. Now Mike Will made it, and Gucci Man slayed it. Yeah. Think I'm the dopest rapper ever, n overrated. Yeah. The paint got eliminated, the top decapitated. Yeah. He had a book, but it went dry, that shit evaporated. Yeah. Big goes to fan, I can tell I ain't squatting in a while because what is this? 355? And that feels like like crazy, like it feels like 405. Like, it feels crazy heavy. So probably gonna stop right here. This will be the top weight. We're gonna do this for two more sets, do a back down, and then it's on to 
either leg extensions or hack squats. Depends on what's overrated. Big ghost to Fayetteville, shout out Mechanicsville. I keep it true, they go from Thomasville to Summer Hill. And my Bugatti, but I used to have a Bonneville. I'm going Scott, I'm talking switch, my move by Perfect Crew. Screaming, yes, sir. Match the stretch first. My diamonds go burr. Yeah, it's a cold world. I told my nigga slow motion was the best motion. And money turn these bitches on that shit like love potion. There I go, there I go, there I go. There I go, uh. yeah, it's me with the inside out T. Low key, only short for a large fee. There I go, uh. there I go, there I go, there I go. Uh. Yeah, that's him, pay the arm and the limb for him. Cause they know the hoes jump out the gym for him. Oh, jump out the gym for him. Alright fam, so next up we're gonna do the hack squat. I was gonna I was thinking about doing leg extensions, but I wanna get some really good work here with the hack squat as well. So before going into leg extensions and getting my you know quads really exhausted, I wanna load them with some more heavy weight with the hack squat and get the most out of this exercise. So after we do this, now then we'll go to leg extensions and really cap off our quads. And another thing I'm going to do here, I really want to focus on my outer quad. So I'm going to put my feet a little bit lower on the platform and a little bit closer together. Not like super close, like as if I'm doing a close stance, but a little bit narrower than shoulder, shoulder width. I'll show you on a little bit. that barbell squat really doesn't do unless you're really tapped in with your mind. But right here, it's real easy. Really get all that focus and that tension on your quads. It's gonna be a really, if you are lagging in your legs and you don't like barbell squats that much, definitely try the hack squat if you're really trying to bring up your legs. I'm not saying that you shouldn't barbell squat because you definitely need to still do that. But if you don't like it as much, definitely try and throw this into your routine and it'll help you get some size. And every, I was gonna say another thing, every hack squat machine is different. Some have a good angle, some, some don't. Some are a lot you know, tougher than others, as with any machine. So relatively the weight, you know, on some machines I could do like four plates, but for me, I ain't even gonna lie, two plates on this machine just feels a lot heavier than normal. Just because the angle is still weird. I'm still getting used to it, and I've been here for like six months. Let's go. Right side. Let's go. One, two, one, two. You see the drop top, this stop playing with me. You see the drop top. She says you won't let the waves splash down on me. She says you won't let the waves splash down on me. You see the drop top, this stop playing with me. You see the drop top. She says you won't let the waves splash down on me. She says you won't let the waves splash down on me. I'm on the way, send me the Addy I'm on a Jackie Five on the belt, ten on the jacket You gotta have me It's been a day, I don't wanna wait no more Why the fuck are we waiting? I don't wanna wait no more I know a couple niggas had you I ain't tripping, they fucking All right, next up, we're gonna hit some leg extensions. Now that we've done, you know, pretty much our primary movement for quad, our primary movements for quad today already, and they're super taxed. Now we're gonna really try and chisel them down with the leg extension right here. Really gonna focus on squeezing at the top. We're really trying to picture, picture your legs 
looking the way you want them to look. Tone, cut up, whatever it is, whatever your goals are, picture that happening as you're squeezing through right here in this movement. This is a really, this is a movement you really want to lock in. If you lock in with your mind muscle connection on this, it's going to be super beneficial uh, for you when doing this movement. You could go through the motion and do all this and use momentum with your knees and all that, but if you really lock in and squeeze at the top, you can touch your quads, touch the areas that you're really trying to work. You're trying to work that outer quad sweep. You're trying to work those teardrops. Really focus in. And in between sets, we're gonna um, we're gonna po po pose uh, essentially. So get in front of a mirror, do whatever. If you're a bodybuilder, you know this. Maybe other people might not care, but if you're really trying to lock in with your mind muscle connection, posing is really gonna help. Posing is basically just flexing your muscle as hard as you can after you're done with the movement. Couple niggas had you. I ain't tripping, they ain't fucking with me. No niggas on your block, Aggie. But them niggas don't mean nothing to me. Hopped out, double pop. All them niggas watching, cop the rubber from the arc. Hit your crib and got it popping. E. You see the drop top, bitch, stop playing with me. You see the drop top, bitch, stop playing with me. She says you wanna let the waves smash down on me. She says you wanna let the waves smash down on me. Fuckin' I doubt it She showed me that's a nigga reroute it I'm a rich nigga, no I ain't clouded Level bull, I'm a young and I'm bullshit up It's a difference, don't let it get crushed up I was 17 coming through pushed up Now it's better than Chuck Alright fam To finish off the workout We're gonna do a superset So we're gonna do seated leg curl And we're gonna also superset it With some uh, pistol squats with a chair So Kind of a little bit of uh, A little bit of both we're Gonna get some hamstring activation To really finish off our hamstrings and uh, we're gonna get a little bit more quad activation just with some body weight work, and then that's a wrap. Now if it'll let me out. <laughs> nah, like seriously though. <laughs> That thing was kind of stuck for a minute. All right, now we're gonna do these. Whole lot of lavish shit. You said not have a shit. No, no, no. Sliding in bitch with my Gucci's on. Just trying to stay out of the way. Money get made when I sleep. I don't need nothing for free. I have some Dior slippers. I don't know what I did with them. Bret Hart when I'm sharp shooting. I apply for them M's and you know I got them. You see the drop top, bitch, stop playing with me. You see the drop top, bitch, stop playing with me. She says you wanna let the waves splash down on me. She says you wanna let the waves. Yeah, I can't even lie to y'all. I am not the best at those pistol squats, as you can clearly see. But I gotta do it in order to get better at it. So I gotta do it more often to get better at it. So can't be afraid of movements that are new to you or you might not be that good at. It. That means you gotta continue to work at them and make them good. So, and also those are really good for. Um, not only the quad contraction at the top, but a lot of your, um, like the eccentric part of it, it's really good for all your stabilizer muscles. So really good for my athletes out there to try. I'm sure they already know that, but if you didn't know that, if you're an, if you're an athlete and you didn't know that, definitely throw those in. You should definitely be able to do them better than me though. <laughs> Let's go, man. Not to mention I'm already taxed from the whole workout. So I might be a little bit better at him if I was fresh in the workout. Oh, 
All right, man, we got one more set like that, and then that's a wrap. That's the full workout. I'm gonna just end the video right here. Ain't no need to talk to y'all in the car because I'm tired and I need some recovery. Whew. But I hope y'all enjoyed that workout, man. Full workout is at the bottom of the description. Let me know how you like it, try it out for yourself. Let me know what, what workouts you do on your leg day. What's some staple movements that you throw into your leg workouts. Um, until next time, man, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And we out, man. Stay prayed up. Let's go. She says you won't let the waves splash down on me.